of love ready to go welcome to ruby's mindful tarot hello everyone hope you've been well how are you so today's reading is focused on letting go of something so that you can progress and just breathe more easily so maybe something that's had a hold on you or that you might be holding on to something that's possibly delaying your progress in some area of your life Okay, so as you can see, there's three groups already, but I'll explain that afterwards. Before we begin, we'll start off with a few mindful breaths, and then within that, we'll do an affirmation as well. Okay, so as you know, place a hand wherever you feel guided to. That can be on your chest, maybe your head, your back, stomach, or just in your lap. And if you like, you can close your eyes. Okay. So when you're ready, Start taking a gentle inhale in through your nose, bringing in peace and harmony intentionally, and then exhaling as you breathe out of your mouth, letting go of whatever's holding you back in some way. Some of you may be consciously aware of it, some may not be, and that's okay. Okay, so inhaling in again, bringing in peace and harmony, and then exhaling, just letting go of things that you no longer need. A few more times. Keep going while I shuffle an affirmation card, breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Continue breathing as I read these affirmations out for you. I am worthy of my own love. I don't have to earn love any more than I have the right to breathe. I am precious and I cherish who I am. Continue breathing. I am free and at peace. I am a free person living in a world that is a reflection of my own love and understanding. Spend a few more moments inhaling and exhaling as I show you these cards. Okay, beautiful. I feel to get started because, yeah, I just, I feel a sense of, not urgency, but just, I need to start now. Okay, let me put this away. Hopefully that breathing exercise helped you prepare for this reading, even if it just helped to make you feel a bit calmer and more present and grounded and just connected to this present moment. Okay, so as you can see, one, two, three, there's three groups. We've got group one, blue quartz crystal, group two, moonstone, like a rainbow iridescent white moonstone, and then group three, cat's eye. If some of you are already connecting to a group, then continue watching. If you're not sure, watch the whole video and then see what messages connect with you, because sometimes there might be a message in each group that might relate to you in some way. Okay, before I started the video, I wrote down a few messages and things that I was channeling for each group and I kind of put them in a mini 
envelope so we'll get through all of that and then I'll um, bring out some cards as well for additional messages or just for deeper messages of clarity and all sorts okay let's start let's start so I'll move that away so this is group one again blue quartz blue quartz crystal so if you've been drawn to blue that's or if it's your favorite color or you're just connected to this group this could be for you so on the front I just wrote of course group one throat because of course blue is connected to the throat chakra which is all about communication uh, telling the truth knowing the truth yeah so group one throat and blue quartz um yeah I'll read out the message I wrote down first and then I'll shuffle the cards okay so it says rain embrace it connect with it for spiritual practice wash away tears and fears water blue so like blue water intuition so listening to your intuition and to have a cleansing shower with herbs so if you've been thinking of that this is confirmation for you to do so have a beautiful cleansing peaceful shower and you can add some herbs in there as well which will be quite nice because of course as the shower gets steamy that steam can help bring out the scent of those herbs which can help with cleansing and it can just help to cleanse your energy okay I ooh, hope you saw that some birds just flew over the window okay I take that as confirmation I wrote fresh start and allow whatever okay allow whatever needs to be washed away and removed from your life to be washed away and for you to just stand back and see so quite a lot came came through okay, I feel to read that again and then I'll start with the cards so again rain for you to embrace it so if you are going through a stage right now where it does feel quite heavy and stormy and maybe difficult or clouded just embrace the season that you're in right now embrace it learn anything that you can from it or learn what you can about yourself whilst you're going through this either way embrace the rain and also like the actual rain for you to connect with it in some way for spiritual practice so that could be collecting some rain water or just going out in the rain letting the rain touch your face your head allowing that to energetically and physically cleanse you again i wrote wash, wash away tears and fears so maybe you've been crying a lot maybe you've been quite fearful of what's to come or what's happening right now so there's energy to wash that away wash away those fears those fears are holding you back again water so there's a strong emphasis for you to connect with water having that cleansing shower with herbs listening to your intuition some of you could possibly be water signs so that's scorpio cancer and pisces and again, whatever needs to be washed away and removed from your life, allow it to happen. With that, I sensed that that's happening already and you're aware of that. So something that you, that might even be unexpected is slowly being removed from your life. That could be a friendship, a relationship, a situation, whatever it is. Something is being or trying to be removed from your life to allow you to progress and to breathe more easily. You might be holding on to it though. So your message there is just to allow it to be washed away and just stand back and watch because it's all for your highest good. It's all for your progression towards your destiny. It might be difficult, but it is for your best interest. Okay, let's see what other messages are there for you. So this is group one, blue quartz. Blue quartz. Yeah, I definitely sense there's been a lot of tears. So a lot of you in this group might have been crying a lot recently. Maybe over that thing that's trying to be removed. Okay, that just came through clarity yeah I will say it. okay 
As I was writing these messages in the beginning before I started the video, usually I would just go in order, so write these messages, group two, then group three. Today I um, felt guided to go backwards, so I actually wrote group three's message first. No, I think it was two. I wrote two first, then three, and then one. And um, when I came to start writing the messages for group one, it actually started raining. Just for the just during the period of time that I was writing this, and then when I finished, the rain stopped, and now my window is clear. I do sense that that's a strong message for this group, so that's why I felt guided to just let you know. Okay, but yeah, clarity. Adding to what I just said, um, for example, let's say there was dirt on my window on the outside of it, which there might have been. Um, that dirt represents that thing in your life that's trying to be removed. Allow the rain to wash that away, to wash that dirt off the window so that it's now clear. Clarity, allowing you to see clearly. Yeah. Okay. Is this it for you? Yes. Right, let's see. Oh, okay. We have number 41, soulmates. So for some of you, that could actually be a relationship, possibly, possibly, hmm. or for some of you, it could be a relationship that might need to be removed or washed away or cleansed over or to have a fresh start with in some way. We'll see. We have 43, womb. Room, nesting, motherhood, parenthood, intuition. Mm -hmm. We have 22, rise. Quite a lot. Oh, yep. <laughs> Look. Perfect. <laughs> I love confirmation. You know that. So that's number 39, water, surrender. Perfect. That card couldn't have come out in a better group. We've got number 20, mirror, reflection. Mm. Okay, we have house 10. This um, energy is usually connected to Capricorn. So this is about structure, discipline, life mission, accomplishments and career. So maybe for some of you, the, a career change might be happening. For some of you, you might be getting fired. I'm hearing, <laughs> not to scare you, but if that relates to you, I feel you already know that in this moment. But if that's the case, allow it to happen. It's for your highest good. It's for your benefit. Okay, we also have take time to breathe out. Beautiful color blue, again. Take time to breathe out. Again, having a cleansing bath, connecting with water, possibly the moon as well, if you feel drawn to. And then we have Jupiter, beautiful card to end on. It says grow and expand. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I sensed, that all of what's being washed away and the current difficulty that you might be going through right now is so that you can grow and expand. It may not seem like it or feel like it, but trust that this is what's happening behind the scenes. This is the energy that's wanting to come for you. The universe is wanting you to grow, to expand, to move towards your destiny to accomplish the things that you're supposed to accomplish. But in order for that to happen, certain things need to be removed. Ooh, quite a lot, quite a lot. Detailed messages. Okay, give me a moment. I'm going to channel a bit more from some of these cards and then I'll communicate that to you. So, quick summary, although I do feel I covered it all already, but here it is. So, group number one, blue quartz. You're being called to embrace the rain, physically, but also um, symbolically as well. So, the rain season that you're going through, embrace it. Take what you can from it, learn from it. Use that time to connect with your intuition, to meditate, to breathe out, surrender to whatever's going on right now in your life. 
and also the physical rain. So connecting with that in a spiritual way. Um, again, that could be collecting some rainwater, praying over it, setting intentions with it. Also having a cleansing shower with herbs, any herbs that you feel guided to. Any herbs that you feel guided to work with. You are being called to wash away any fears that you're holding on to. I do sense it's a fear of letting go in relation to a person, like a type of relationship. That could be a romantic relationship or a friendship, companionship, possibly a career. But whatever that is, you already know inside that it's breaking away. And if this, this won't relate to everyone, if it connects with you, you'll know what this relates to in your life. But whatever is being shedded away and washed away, just allow it to be surrendered to it. Surrender to it so you can have a fresh start, so that you can rise, so that you can grow and expand Jupiter energy. This is what your soul is calling you for. I felt called to say. Right, I read the book for this one, Mirror. So I'll just read out a few kind of keywords that my eyes were drawn to, which makes sense for your reading, of course. So it says, time alone brings clarity. Intuition was another key word for this. And also developing a self-care routine, which is perfect and also connects with this womb card as well. So you're now being called to focus more on you. Focus on you. Focus on your spiritual practices, on your intuition, connecting with yourself, knowing who you are again, allowing yourself to rise, building yourself up with positive self-affirmations, again, self-care practices, cleansing yourself physically, but also spiritually, emotionally, all the things. And if you do feel it's necessary to cry to release those emotions, then do so. But do so and then allow yourself to move on. Don't hold on to this energy, whatever it is. Whatever needs to be let go of, let it go. Again, stand back and just see. Beautiful. So those are your messages, group number one. Quite specific and direct, but I hope that was helpful for you. But let rain be a key word. Rain. And then connect with that in whatever way you feel necessary. Physically, energetically, symbolically, whatever it is beautiful so that was group number one we'll do two mindful breaths and then i'll move on to group number two as usual you might be drawn to one two or all three groups it's absolutely fine and if you're not sure continue watching the rest of the video to connect with any messages that connect with you <laughs> okay so let's do two mindful breaths now like we did in the beginning so breathing in through your nose and then exhaling through your mouth Continue. Okay, right, moving on to group two now. So this is Moonstone. Moonstone, Moonstone, Moonstone. As you saw, I felt called to kind of bring extra crystals. I've got clear quartz, ruby, um, a stone that I picked up at a beach, and a feather, a white feather. So, group two moonstone, what I wrote on your um, envelope, actually, on the outside, was active slash activate and also rabbit. That was interesting. So, let me read your messages. It says, your world is moving fast. And then in the middle, I wrote in fear. So, you might be in fear right now. Probably because your world is moving fast. But anyway... <clears throat> You're being called to slow down. You're in need of stillness. Meditate with imagery. So that could be visualizations or pictures. I did sense like pictures. So if there's a nice painting or a, a picture of a calm environment or just whatever you like, look at that and meditate on it. See where, see where your mind goes. Allow your emotions to feel calm and settled. But meditating with imagery in some way I feel is very important for you, group two. I also wrote down that you need to connect with gentle, peaceful energy and to let go of the fast pace, let go of the fastness. So if people around you are rushing you, try to let go of that. Try not to connect with that type of energy. That's really not useful for you right now. You need kind of gentleness. 
which might be why you chose Moonstone. Moonstone is a very gentle, calming, nurturing crystal. Okay, let's see. And probably why I channeled Rabbit and Activate is because rabbits, of course, run and, um, run and hop fast, of course, because they're running away from prey. And of course, Active Activate is that kind of action fastness. So that's the energy I sensed from you that you're in right now. Okay, let's see what messages are here for you. Again, this reading is focused on letting go of something so that you can progress and just be in peace. Be in peace. Okay, I'll come back to this deck. Group number two. Different order, I'm hearing to say. Ooh, okay. Continue breathing as I'm shuffling. Continue breathing. I'm drawn to this one. Okay. I think that might be it. Let's see. I'm here for group two. Moonstone. Quartz. Okay, here are all your cards. Group two, Moonstone. All right, it's quite a lot. Um, okay, I'll read over everything I wrote down first, then I'll go through the cards. So again, I sensed your world is moving fast, that you're in fear right now. Universe wants you to slow down. You're in need of stillness. It's time for you to connect with gentle, peaceful energy and to let go of the fast pace. So if you feel as though you have to catch up or meet someone's expectations which is causing you to be at a faster pace than that than what's natural for you it's time to kind of move away from that in the best way possible for you also meditating with imagery pictures guided visualizations yeah meditating with imagery i also just wrote down now different order and heavy so we'll see what that relates to Okay, so here are your cards. You have Harvest. Beautiful, that's number 43. This one's of the African Goddess Rising Oracle deck. Beautiful cards. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have Worthiness, number 14. Beautiful. You are worthy, you need to know that. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> you have number 10, Forest Bathing. Or bathing. Interesting, this one has the, the nest with the eggs in again, similar to group one. So I wonder if some of group one is in here as well, quite possibly. Okay, you have house eight. This is about transformation, karma, facing fears. Perfect. Facing fears and legacies. House eight is connected to Scorpio. Scorpio type of energy. Mm hmm. Fear. I did sense that. I wrote that down. Okay, we have sex style. So a combination of tension and flow. Potential and a rewarding situation. Oh. I hope you can see that clearly. Okay. Right, on to the original tarot. 
you have judgment. I knew this card would come up. I sensed that earlier before I even prepared my space for the video. Judgment. Mm -hmm. You have Ace of Swords. Mm. New beginning. Mental clarity. Stillness. Okay, you have oh ten of cups in reverse. Interesting. Hmm. And okay. And you have three of cups in reverse. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, you have Firefly number forty four. Wonder. Okay. You have Power lines, energy, mm. protect your energy. Those around you are affecting you quite strongly. They're giving you what they have, I feel called to say. So the energy that they are carrying, it's transmuting towards you and you're picking up on that. So a lot of this group could be quite sensitive. You probably know that or maybe you're unaware, but I am sensing that you pick up on people's emotions and feelings and thoughts quite strongly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You've got emotions are running high. That's confirmation. Supermoon, emotions are running high. And you have a leg up, number 34. Wow, okay, you have a lot of messages, group two. So give me a moment while I channel all of this and then I'll communicate that to you. to took a minute collecting all your extra messages it's quite a lot here as you can see okay so group two moonstone as i mentioned before i sensed that your world is moving fast and that you're in fear which is probably why you feel the, the need to rush you're being called to slow down relax you're in need of some stillness connecting with your inner self meditating with imagery positive beautiful calming images meditate and visualize yeah, visualize um, those beautiful images whilst you're meditating. You're also being called to connect with nature. That could be walking in a park, a forest, if, if one is nearby, of course be safe. But yeah, just connecting with nature, maybe house plants or a garden, connecting with cooking perhaps, definitely nature though, greenery, that's calling you quite strongly. That will help to recharge your energy because I, I do sense that you are quite sensitive which is a beautiful thing however as many sensitive people know um that requires a lot of cleaning cleaning your energy so if you do find yourself around a lot of people who if you find that you're quite drained after being around certain people or certain places even it can really affect your energy and you need to recharge recharge your energy and one of the ways you can do that is connecting with nature. Mm -hmm. I also picked up that you need to be clear on your goals. So be clear on what you're really aiming for right now. So whatever it is that you're rushing towards, that you want to happen, you want to manifest, you're in fear that it won't happen at the right time, all of those sorts of things. Be calm, be still and be clear. Be clear on what you're aiming to bring into fruition. Be very clear on that. I think it will help you quite a lot to write it down or even speak it out if you prefer to talk rather than write maybe speak it out to yourself even record yourself saying it and then listen back to it because you might be surprised at your reaction to hearing you say what you say but either way just find a way to be clear on what you're aiming for because i do see that there are rewards on the way there is because you have ten of cups let me show you you have Ten of Cups, which is just the beautiful, happy family card. Success, manifestation, beautiful, wonderful. And you have Three of Cups, celebration. And these are in reverse, which for me means, for your reading, that this is delayed. 
not permanently, it's just temporarily delayed because you do need to be clear on what you're aiming for right now. And you need to spend time focusing on protecting your energy. Very important for you. You're also being called to let go of fear. So again, that fear might be in connection with timing, the timing of things, but try to let go of it. All things will happen at the right time for you. I know that's not something you want to hear when you are in a rushing state, but it is the truth and it is what the universe wants to communicate with you. Things will happen at the right time for you, definitely. You're also being called, group two, Moonstone, to connect a bit more with your feminine energy. Connect with your gentle side. I think that I wrote that down earlier as well. So connecting with gentle, peaceful energy, letting go of that fast pace. So feminine energy, so that's like yin, it's very gentle, very calm, very nurturing, just like Moonstone, the group that you chose. So try to connect with that side of you a bit more. It will really help you to feel a bit more in balance. Mm -hmm. But I also sense that there's a lot of blessings and a lot of abundance coming your way, similar to these cards. But also you've got the Harvest card as well. So of course Harvest is all about the kind of end result, the manifestation of whatever it is you're trying to create. And then that card is celebratory. So celebration, harvest, you've done it, you've made it, you've grown it. It's a celebration. There's lots of wonderful things wanting to come your way, group two. It's on its way. Trust that it's on its way. So there's no need to rush and chase after it. Just be calm, be present, be in a welcoming, receiving energy, which is a feminine energy. And that will all come to you. You're also being called to pay attention to new ideas and inspiration. So the universe will be sending you definitely numbers, um, three and four, that's come up throughout your reading. You've got 43, 14, 44, 34. Um, there was another number here. But yeah, three and fours are your numbers, group two. So the universe might be sending them to you at certain times. So if you're having a particular conversation with someone or a certain thought, you're considering something and then those numbers come up in some way. So you might look at your phone or a clock at a particular time and then you see those numbers three and four. That's confirmation for you from the universe. But yeah, the universe is sending you signs that could be in the form of numbers, um, conversations, people, pictures, or but mainly ideas, numbers and ideas. So you might be meditating, doing some visualization or imagery work, or just you might be in stillness. So maybe resting in the morning, nighttime, wherever it is. And then you might just get the perfect idea or a perfect suggestion or inspiration of some sort. Trust that that's the universe sending it to you. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. They're wanting to help you. The universe is sending you help. They're wanting to give you a leg up to help you up. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. With this judgment card, a new way of life is coming for you. And that's come up quite a lot in your reading. That there's a newness. You have judgment, you have ace of swords. I'm going to read the book because there's extra messages here that I want you to hear for this one. A new way of life is coming for you, group two. This is something to be very excited about. There's a lot of things for you to start working on right now, which is cleansing your energy, especially if you've been around a lot of people or in certain areas where the, the energy affects you cleanse your energy recharge by connecting with nature in whatever way works best for you trust that there's a lot of positive things coming your way there's rewards there's abundance there's gratitude there's recognition there's harvest there's celebration all of these things 100 percent are coming your way just be patient, be in a receiving energy, try to let go of fear, definitely slow down, <sighs> slow down, be still, meditate, look at beautiful calming images, maybe of the sea, the ocean, maybe of a forest, so nature, that would be a nice imagery for you actually to meditate on, and nature, maybe flowers, trees, something like that, mm-hmm. Again, the universe is sending you signs, sending you messages, sending you inspiration, new ideas. So just be aware of that as well. Maybe write them down as they come, because I do sense that they might come quite strongly. 
numbers three and four. Those are some numbers that you might be seeing at this time as well. Do understand that a lot of you in this group are quite emotional, which is beautiful. That means you connect to things in a very deep, beautiful way. But again, what often comes with that is that your energy is affected by many people and many situations and things. And unfortunately, there's a lot of negativity. Um, there's a lot of positivity too, but there are not all people and all situations have positive intentions. That's what I mean. So if you if you find yourself around that, definitely take time to cleanse and recharge. Definitely. But again, a new way of life is coming. There's so much positivity coming your way, group two. It's beautiful. Just let go of that fear. Whatever fear this is that you're holding on to, please take the time to gently let go of it. The universe wants you to have a fresh mindset. Ace of Swords. Ace is new beginning. Swords is often related to mental activity and verbal communications. But the universe wants a freshness with this for you. Definitely. A fresh mindset. A new way of life. Also, I felt that you should ask yourself the question, what do you really want and need? So going back to that clarity, being clear on your goals, clear on what you're trying to manifest before all of these beautiful things can come your way. What do you really want and what do you really need? Because the thing you're chasing for or wanting to manifest might not even be something you really truly want or need. So again, just be a bit clear on that as well. Focusing on your internal desires, so what your heart really wants, really needs. And I do feel it's something that will benefit you quite strongly, but also your community in some way, whether that's your actual community or just the world in general. And then one more thing before I read the book for this one, I did write down that things might happen in a different order than, it, than expected. So again, with that fast pace, you might be expecting things to happen like one, two, three, four, five, but then they might happen five, two, one, three, four, something like that. So just be open, be aware, allow things to happen the way they're going to happen. Be clear on your goals, definitely protect your energy. I think that could be a regular practice for you. Meditate with beautiful, calming imagery and refresh your mind and know that you are worthy as well. So if some of you um, are lacking a little bit self-esteem wise, that's an, another area for you to focus on. Know that you are worthy. You are worthy of all these beautiful things that are genuinely wanting to come your way. Oh, a lot of messages, group two. Okay, I'm going to read this and then that's it. Okay, so. Okay. You have achieved, oh, okay. Okay, you have achieved this opportunity through willpower and using your mental faculties, so your mental strength. Prosperity, recognition, new development, especially spiritual growth, are sure to follow in the wake of your new direction in life. This ace signals a birth, usually of an idea or enterprise. You now are in a, you now are in a position to manifest your philosophy in a new way beautiful so really be aware of these new ideas that will be coming in for you group two okay because it will it will be very successful so if some of you have been wanting to manifest a business and that's what you've been chasing towards and it's not going the way you want again be slow or slow down be still and allow the universe to help you because again they are sending help and they will be giving you new ideas if not already Okay, I will stop there. <laughs> that was a lot of messages. I hope that was helpful for you, group two, Moonstone. New ideas, new ideas. Gentleness, protecting your energy, nurturing yourself, connecting with nature, knowing that you're worthy, being open to the ways the universe communicates with you through numbers, through ideas, possibly dreams knowing that it's a beautiful thing to be sensitive and emotional, but again, just protecting your energy. 
on a regular basis. <sighs> wow, that was very strong. Very strong. Okay. We'll do, a, we'll do three mindful breaths before moving on to group three, just to get my energy ready for this next one. Wow. Okay, we'll do three deep mindful breaths when you're ready. So inhaling in, and then exhaling out. Again. Once more. Lovely, that was perfect. Okay, moving on to group number three. This is cat's eye, purple. What I wrote down on your envelope is purple, perspective and perseverance, three Ps. Okay, so your messages. I wrote down seeing all of a situation from all angles in the light and the dark, different sides, being curious and well, I would be curious, be watchful, interpreting what you see and your experiences. And then to detach or let go of someone who often clouds your judgment, who tries to force you to see things their way. So that's quite specific, but that's what I channeled for this group. So let's see what happens. I do feel cool to read that out again before I start shuffling. So cat's eye, <sighs> seeing all of a situation. So whatever situation is coming to mind right now, that's probably what this is relating to. You're being called to look at it from every single angle possible. Look at it from the light side. Look at it from the dark side. Look at it from every... Or if there's other people involved in this situation, try to look at it from each person's perspective. Really um, be curious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Be curious, be watchful, have an observant mind. So be quite... Um, oh, that one flipped over. Can you see? Take that out for you. Okay. But yeah, be curious, be watchful. I'm kind of visualising you in the shadows a little bit. So not in a creepy way, but in a very, oh, I can't describe it, in a very, just you in the shadows, nothing creepy, but you just watching and being curious. Not with bad intentions, not with negative intentions, just being very open and gen genuinely wanting to gain a deeper perspective. Yeah. Oh, okay, let's see, let's see. And again, detaching, letting go of someone who often clouds your judgment. So if you do experience that group three, then that message is definitely for you. If you often find yourself around people or someone in particular who tries to force you to see things their way, when you see things a different way, try to let go of that. And that could be by either removing yourself from that relationship or by setting up some boundaries with that person, allow, like teaching them or communicating with them that you see things differently and that's okay. <clears throat> yeah. I feel that you guys in this group, you often take a long time or you need a longer time than the rest to have an understanding about something so if there's a situation and people around you often have a have an opinion straight away about it you're the person who usually needs more time before coming up with an opinion and that's okay mm -hmm. I'm shuffling, keep breathing, 
Whatever the situation is coming to mind, keep that in your mind. And we shall see where this goes. Okay, that one flipped over. Oh, okay, and that one flipped over as well. Okay, oh, a lot of messages here. Let's see how this one goes. I'll leave it like that. Okay. You have number 32, here and now. This one's often about um, being present. So trying not to worry too much about the past or the future. Just being present in where you're at right now. And in your opinions, I feel called to add. Oh, we have another egg. So this is 23, peace. Mm -hmm. Peace. You have number 18, serendipity. Again, that links to kind of peacefulness, peaceful energy. And another egg, we have number 19, flexible, being flexible. Hmm, oh, 100%. With this image, you know what I said about you seeing things from all angles? That's confirmation. So of course this person's bending over this egg in a kind of gymnastic type of way. Yeah, that's a visual representation. So seeing, th seeing things from a different perspective, from all angles, perfect. Mm -hmm. You have surrender to the divine, full moon. Beautiful. You have miracles, number 42. This is lovely. Okay. You have, oh, beautiful. You have Queen of Cups. How oh, lovely for that to come just after this card as well. Very similar energy. Miracles, Queen of Cups. So all about feminine leadership, creativity, nurturing. Lovely. Mm, being connected to your emotions. Mm -hmm. And you have Nine of Cups as well. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is often about like making a wish. So what are you wishing for? What are you hoping for? That's kind of similar to one of the messages from group two. So some of you might be here as well. Hello. Interesting. Okay. You have number five, ceremony. Being curious, being watchful. Taking your time, being patient, being clear on what you think, on what you feel. Oh, again, you've got peace and harmony. Lovely energy in this group. Much calmer and very still. Even where I am right now, there was background noise before, but right now in this moment, I really hear and feel complete stillness. So this is lovely. Okay. Oh, how wonderful. You've got Taurus. So that's trust, patience, and sensuality. Yeah, there's lots of beautiful, just calm, genuine, lovely energy here. It's very nice. Okay, last two cards. You've got number 41, celest celestial alignment. So your spirit being in full alignment. Beautiful, that connects with this card. Being in alignment, just being happy and truthful with who you are and feeling happy to express that. Mm -hmm. Expressing you maybe physically with what you wear, how you look, but also verbally, communication wise as well. Your last card is joy. Oh my gosh, how lovely. Joy. Oh, this is a nice, nice reading to, nice group to end on. Okay. Right, give me a moment while I channel your messages and then I'll communicate that to you. Okay, group three, hello, cat's eye, purple, perseverance, perspective. So, here are your messages. I'll start off reading what I channeled from the very beginning and then I'll go through these. So, seeing all of a situation. So whatever situation is coming to mind is probably related to that. 
you're being called to look at it from every single angle possible the light side of it the dark side of it different perspectives if people are involved maybe looking at it from their perspective as well you're also being called to be curious and be watchful and enjoy being in that type of energy so not allowing someone or people to rush you into or to force you sorry into thinking and seeing things the way they do no be comfortable taking things at your own pace be comfortable being curious be comfortable being watchful be comfortable taking your time to see things the way that you choose to see things and taking your time to interpret things the way that you do interpreting what you see and your experiences you're being called to be present be still and again taking time to explore your opinions beautiful you're also being called to connect with them to trust your spirit guides your intuition and to also connect with people energy and things that align with your spirit alignment so anything that does not align with you remove it let it go let it go let it go let it go so take time to pray or meditate or do whatever spiritual practice you do that helps you connect with your inner self your higher self definitely prioritize that i feel like you do already so continue but yeah alignment alignment is important things that align keep it nourish it celebrate it things that don't align just gently reject that move it away let it go you're also being called to surrender to the outcomes of this current situation that's what i channeled from this card surrender to the divine full moon so again whatever situation is coming up it could be this main one or another one you're being called to just surrender so whatever outcome that whatever outcome will happen is whatever outcome will happen just surrender to it and move on from it move on from it take your time to understand the perspectives of the outcome and then just move on genuinely though i sense that your energy is amazing i sense it's so peaceful so joyous so beautiful which is just so wonderful you're being called to continue continue choosing to live in peace in trust, in harmony, in joy, all of those things. Continue living, well, continue choosing to live in that manner because it's wonderful. Okay, I want to show you all of these, all of these cards. There's like five or six cards here from all different decks. Oh, majority. There's like one, two, three. There's like four, five. Yeah, about five different decks, all saying the same thing. We have peace. We have uh, Nine of Cups, I'll read the book for that one, but this one does point towards happiness, all your wishes coming true, whatever you want, whatever you wanting to manifest, it manifests, just, just beautiful energy, joy, serendipity, Taurus energy, which is very trustful, patient, sensual, and then peace and harmony, absolutely beautiful, so continue with that <laughs> i also sense that that type of energy will definitely pass on to those after you so if you have children or well yeah if you have children or just people generally who look up to you that energy will pass on to them which is just helping it's just beautiful and that helps the next generation yeah lovely okay i'm going to read the books for a few cards I'll start off with that one. So Nine of Cups. It confirms what I just mentioned, but I'll read it anyway. Nine of Cups. Sometimes called the Wish Card, it indicates great joy and happiness, dreams coming true and getting what you wish for. It's like winning the lottery. This card means success, triumph, everything you want and hope for. When the Nine of Cups appears, make a wish, ask yourself, what do I really want? The card responds, you will get it. Beautiful. Okay, I'm also going to read these two. So this is number 42, Miracles. 
from the African Goddess Rising deck. You are a magnet for miracles. You are a miracle. What if you truly allowed yourself to believe? All things are possible. Dare to dream bigger. Believe that you deserve to be, do, have the world you want for yourself. You can be your true self, do what awakens your soul and have your desires. This is life's miracles. If you haven't witnessed your miracles yet today, ask, ask for it and allow it in. And your goddess affirmation is, my life is full of miracles. Gorgeous. And last one, Queen of Cups. So, she is creative, perhaps an artist, with visionary tendencies. Her psychic ability is highly developed and, is highly developed and tends to be accurate. Okay, lovely. Beautiful, beautiful energy. So that's you, group number three, Cat's Eye. Take a very clear perspective from all different angles. Be very flexible. So if it requires you to bend all the way backwards or to really look at things from a completely different view than you usually would then do so because that will help with some clarity surrender to whatever outcomes will be really focus on what brings you into alignment again i really sense that you're in this energy already so please continue this is absolutely beautiful if you are interested interested in crystals i am drawn to cat's eye for you and of course, there is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of peace, joy, success, manifestations, miracles, harmony, trust, and just everything. All of those beautiful, positive things are yours right now and forever will be, as long as you choose to live in this energy. Wonderful. Thank you, group three. That was a beautiful, beautiful uh, group to end on. Okay, again, I wonder if some of you were in other groups as well. Okay, let me get all the groups back up. Okay. Beautiful. I feel to bring out my sound bowl just as we do a few mindful breaths before we end. So I'll get that now. Thank you, all three groups, for listening to this video. Group one, blue quartz, group two, moonstone, and group three, cat's eye. Wonderful messages, quite specific and quite a lot for some of the groups. Please let me know in the comments below if any of those messages did connect with you. I'd love to hear so. If not, you can like the video, subscribe for more, or definitely share to share the video with someone who will possibly benefit from these messages. Okay, so before we end, we'll do four mindful breaths. Take your time, do it at your own pace. Okay, and as we're breathing, allow any messages that did connect with you to settle in, and any messages that didn't, let them go which again was the theme of today's reading, letting go. So breathing in and then exhaling as you allow yourself to feel calm, connected and centered.
beautiful okay i feel like i need to lie down now so thank you for listening to me speak i will be back next week with another reading with another focus if you have any suggestions on a focus that you would like the reading to be on you can leave a comment let me know but i think that's it so thank you and bye bye